Howdy, it's Tubal Cain. Today I'm going to show you how to grind valves. Now these are just little Briggs & Stratton exhaust valves and intake valves and I'm uh, rebuilding an engine so I'm going to put these into my lathe and I'm going to grind these, uh, the faces on these, on the closing lathe and that's going to be done with the little do more hand grinder that you see here and I, it has a uh, holder here that was made by Dumore and it fits right into the tool post and I suppose many of you have this already and uh, know what I'm talking about so since these valves are going to be ground at 45 degrees the seat is 45 degrees I've set the compound at 45 degrees and I've mounted the uh, valve in the three-jaw chuck. Now this is really a good three-jaw chuck that will hold them accurately. And I know that I can trust it. If you have a collet, that would work even better because it's not so bulky. We have to take very light cuts because this isn't a very rigid setup. It's not my favorite, but it's the only one that will allow me to grind a valve. And uh, be sure and wear your safety glasses when you do this procedure. This is just a little bit of a grinding nib that I got here. And in the next sequence, I'm going to show you how to dress that wheel so that it is sharp and true. And then we'll grind the valve. Now, we don't want to damage the uh, lathe ways and bed with that grit. So lay a wet rag or a wet paper towel there that will uh, not start on fire because it's wet and all of the grit will stick to it. Okay, we're going to dress the little grinding wheel now. And we've got uh, the regular Do More dressing fixture mounted onto the post of a little magnetic uh, indicator base. And that's being held down onto the uh, cross slide. And there's a tiny little diamond nib right about here where you see my fingers. We're going to turn the grinder on and then advance it across the diamond using the compound rest and that's set at 45 degrees I've got a wet paper towel protecting the bed to keep the grit to absorb all the grit okay let's give it a try now here we go Okay, we made a pass across it. Did you see that the wheel uh, got white as we did that? And there's still one little spot that didn't clean up. So I'm going to advance the diamond a little bit more and take another pass. And that will not be shown on the video because I think you get the idea. But usually two or three passes are necessary to really true up a wheel and to sh it sharpens it as well as trues it up. Now take a careful look at this setup here and uh, the uh, position of the grinding wheel as opposed to the valve face and that we're going to have plenty of clearance there from the chuck. Now both the uh, I've checked the grinding wheel and it is on center and I've done that by adjusting it with the tool post and a little packing under here the same as you would do for a lathe tool but it does need to be on center we're going to run the lathe spindle in reverse and that way the wheel and the chuck are working against each other all of our feeding is going to be done with the compound at 45 degrees and then when we need to advance it a few thousands in for multiple cuts we'll uh, move it in with our cross feed and we'll take very light cuts and we'll feed very slowly. 
Okay. Now we're cutting. And I'm feeding in. Ever so slowly. This compound. Okay, the job is done, and it cleaned up rather nicely. I'll take it out of the chuck and bring it over to the bench where the lighting is a little better, and uh, show you that there's no chatter marks on there that are appreciable. But we may still have to lap these into the uh, seat. Now, if you got valves that are badly burnt or split, you're not going to be able to salvage them. And some of you are saying, "Well, just why don't you buy a new valve down at the store?" Well because I like to recondition things because I'm a machinist like you. So if you have one of these little uh, do more grinders and you have some grinding to do whether it be a valve or some other little job they work pretty good if it's a light cut and uh, not so, and small work but you're not gonna grind anything real large with this. There are larger, I have two larger tool post grinders but they don't lend themselves well to this uh, getting in on the back side here of the valve. Okay, here's the valves. One I have done and one is not done. And I'll get as close as I can with the video camera, but I'm also going to take a close-up still, which I'll include in the video also. And I'm surprised at how good the finish is, considering that I wasn't able to use coolant. However, the little do more grinder does run at about 30,000 RPM so does a nice job make sure that you dress your wheel before you start hope you enjoyed this little video on grinding on the closing lathe this is Tubal Kane saying so long for now